Hey guys, it's Al from Altruistic Channel. And so I'm sitting here um, on my day off, kind of enjoying a wonderful snowball down at the park. Um, this is City Park in New Orleans. It's beautiful and right now I'm swinging on a swing that um, I'm loving. Anyway, the moral story is the reason I'm here is I kind of wanted to do like a second part to the first snippet that I did yesterday about the Moon King and No Kingdom, the book that I wrote. And so what I'm going to touch base with is that, you know, when it comes to spirituality, people have this tendency to make their faith absolute faith, right? That their faith is the only faith that they, you need to adhere to. And I always call bullshit on that because at the end of the day, when you are talking about faith, you're talking about something that's supposed to be uplifting and something that's innately part of you, like your DNA. It's a, like a composite of everything you've ever been taught and everything that you fundamentally believe in. So I always warn people. When you deny somebody the basic right to believe in whatever the hell they believe in, you deny that yourself the right to believe in your own faith, right? Because you're giving them the ability to kind of walk into your life and say, nope, you have to agree with what I agree with. Fuck that shit. It's not going to happen. So, part of what I wanted to touch base further on that to, uh, to get a little bit more depth in it is this. When it comes to spirituality, the thing that I find the most interesting is that we've spent so much time in our lifetimes focusing on what divides us, right? It's the, it has to be God, or it has to be Allah, or it has to be this, or it has to be that. And can you imagine how much better the world would be if we just stopped putting a name to it? Whatever your faith or fundamental concept of life, or where we come from, or origins, or whatnot, you all have one thing in common. You all share a belief in something higher and grander than you, a grander design to life. The reason I'm doing this from a park is because I'm in tune with nature at the moment. This is God's design. He made something so absolute gorgeous, so fundamentally just amazing, that it's almost impossible to not like sit in wonder of, of the gift that he gave us. And so I just fundamentally, I don't know, I'm stuck on the word fundamentally, but I'm swinging back and forth, so I'm like a kid. But um, we have to take some time every now and then to just kind of say thank you, because no matter who you are and no matter what you believe, he's given you the ability to choose your own path. And this path can be different from everybody else's path. You can be Wiccan and believe in witchcraft, or you can be Jewish, or you can be, say, Islam. There's a million gazillion things that you can believe in, but it's all up to you. It's a choice that you were given. And so when it comes to choice in general, the thing to always remember is that there but by the grace of God go I. So, don't go there. Don't ever try to take someone else's faith away from them because it's so unique to who they are that you're basically killing their soul. And it's kind of harsh to think of it that way, but I think with how divisive we are in these days, I think it's time that we kind of just call an ace an ace. We spend too much time separating uh, ourselves from one another. And we create wars over it. And we do horrible, insane things to one another in the name of religion. And then we claim to be that it serves God. And I just sometimes look at you and I just kind of go, how does that serve God? God's about abundance. God's about uplifting the masses and about giving us a, a, a faith and hope that there's something grander than what we have in front of us at the time. It gives us an ability to push on. Not to, like, destroy another person's whole life and their family and rape and all this stuff. It's just stop with the bullshit. You know, at some point, someone's got to say it. Faith in and of itself is splendid. It's one of the most magical things on this earth. It's like a park. It's like it, the greens and the reds and the flowers and everything that you see around you is so fantastic that how dare you, like, try to morph that into something so horrific as hate and trying to speak on behalf of someone you've never met, and you obviously never will if you're like trying to spread the hate. So I guess what I just wanted to say is, it's about time that we just take it for what it is. It is 100% something that every single human being shares in common. It's this thing, this internal clock or monologue actually, that tells you when you're doing something right or doing something wrong. It's something that like, it's an inner voice that you know can't be from you because if it was up to your dumb ass, you would've been dead 10 years ago from that stupid thing you did then. You know, and so faith, if left to the right people, like let's say, even me, shit, is uniting. And it bonds us in our pursuit of happiness. And it bonds us in 
the quest for something so beyond what we can put into words that we struggle at times to even find a way to convey what we're doing or what we're trying to live up to. And so sometimes you just got to go to a park and just sit and swing and rock back and forth and just think. Tune into that collective consciousness. Tune into what's around you. Maybe you'll get some enlightenment because I know I have. And my hair looks great. <laughs> anyway, the point is this is Al for Altruistic Channel. That's kind of the snippet for today. I'll probably do another one from somewhere else in the park, but I just wanted to say hello. All right, bye.